Yeah. We got a video to play to as well. Okay. Kind of like puts this in a more video format. Um, Chris, you got a video? Yep. Right, so ladies, I want you to take on this video here. Um, here we go. Listen, to all my fellas out there who have dealt with a female, I don't know how the fuck y'all deal with us because this is like my first time really dealing with a female in a relationship type thing. And this motherfucker driving me fucking crazy. She never know what the fuck she want to eat. She always got an attitude. If I text her as K, she has a fucking attitude. Like I'm supposed to just be like, okay, baby, what you want? You want me to fucking mouth feed you? If I don't help her figure out her outfit, it's a fucking problem. If I don't know exactly where the fuck we're going to eat after she asked me to fucking take her to fucking eat, it's a fucking problem. Like, I don't understand what the fuck y'all bitches be wanting. Like, the females be worse than the fucking men. And I don't know how y'all men been fucking dealing with us. And to any men that dealt with me, if I was ever on some shit like that, I am sorry. I am getting my motherfucking karma. I thought I wanted to be gay. No, I don't know about that because these bitches is crazier than these men. I'm telling you. And they be sneaky. They, I'm ruining this shit. I'm so mad. These girls be so sneaky. Y'all don't even understand how sneaky these girls Dang. All right. <laughs> so agree, disagree. Um, thoughts on that. We can go ahead and get your thoughts on that. Who started? I think this time, this way, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Um. <laughs> Today. Do Today I agree on. or disagree? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about you? Agree and disagree. If you had to choose one. <laughs> oh my god, it's so quiet in here. Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad, Say so. Um what was the question? That was do you agree oh, with her? Do agree I agree with her? With her? Yeah. Okay. Her point of view. Huh? Bruh. In the video, her point of view. <laughs> the point of view? Yes, I agree with her. Girls are emotional. Girls are, you know, a little hectic. I get it. You feel me? Some girls, some girls gonna be masculine enough to be like, okay, it's cool. But some of them just going to be like, I don't want to deal with a female. And that's it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, agree. Why do you agree? They are sneaky. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sneaky, so I guess. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. real talk. What are you smoking on? <laughs> In 93. Um, <laughs> Allegedly. Not Nothing. Nothing. I'm high on life. <laughs> that's the funny high then okay what about you i definitely agree with that agree? video yeah okay for you i agree i'm trying to dissect a lot of that mm. i'm just going to agree to disagree she's telling her Wait, frustrations what? of dealing with women so her frustrations of dealing with women i mean as a woman we're all annoying so yes <laughs> so you do agree then sure Okay. Seth, we are we are girlfriends from back home in Massachusetts. We are hard to handle. We've both talked yeah. about our problems together. So yes, females are hard to handle. Wait, are you all three friends? No, no. just That's Stephanie me and, and Taylor. Okay, cool. Okay, out of you two, who's the most trouble? How do you two? We're equally it's trouble. <laughs> Like she was gonna say her. <laughs> Were you gonna say her? <laughs> I was gonna say you. Okay. 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 Who, who's the biggest hoe? Oh. <laughs> Right, fresh right on ass. Not me. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> what I'm saying. I mean, like, mm -hmm. probably me. I got. See, so, you know what? I, I got hoes in different area codes. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. She, she, she got a couple of ninjas. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait. So, if, if you're self admitting there, right? What's body count? Oh, no. Oh, I cannot disclose that. In case my next husband is on watching this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go okay. ahead. Okay. That's Go what I was queen. saying earlier. Like, if I have a serious partner and they really want to know, I will disclose that. But I don't have a partner right now, and I'm not going to put myself out there like that. So you would tell your dream man your body count? Really? I think if I find somebody that's compatible with me, they're not going to judge me. <laughs> that's <a cat>. but, <laughs> don't do it. But don't do it. I'm don't probably going to lie and say, like, 15. That's still high. <laughs> um, <Okay. laughs> let me uh, say this. I don't know if I've always... The thing is, is that the more attractive a man is, the more judgmental they're going to be. Yeah, I'm going to say three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mara, yeah. Fair enough. Keep, keep it low. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Thoughts on the video? Ice um, blue? I agree because honestly, like naturally, like men, women need a man. Like it's a balance. Mm -hmm. Feel me? That's the way the foundation is. That's the way we was created. You feel me? So it's like a man is able to like 
hold it down and shut up and like if he's a man a guy or if he's been working on himself he's gonna be able to like hold it down and not get an attitude and act like a female mm. he's gonna be able to like calm the woman down and like understand what she need in the moment like it's a balance like he's when it comes to gonna be that rock absolutely yeah. when it comes to like um relationships with women and women and men and men like that's not part of the foundation so you don't know how to build patience you don't know how to like these you know what i'm saying things that come with the foundation of how things are created. You know okay. what I'm saying? You going out your way in a man-made relationship. So there's no like foundational rules that come with that, how to make that prosper. So it ain't going to prosper. You could try to be like patient and be like, you know what I'm saying? With in a woman to woman or man to man relationship, but it's just not going to work because you got to be man and woman. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then you build yourself up to that person, that woman that your man need and your man build himself mm-hmm. to that person that your his wife me. What the fuck happened? Oh, God made it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. The foundation. It just ain't gonna really work if it's any other way. Okay. Last but not least. All right. I agree. I'm difficult. I don't never know what I want to eat. <laughs> All that. My homegirl, she style. established. She picked out my outfits. <laughs> I don't know. I just. I'm so difficult. we've established dating women is kind of difficult for both parties, so to speak. What is your definition of a man to you, real quick? Um, um, I was gonna ask oh. one question, just okay. staying on this topic, okay, real cool. fast. Go ahead. Um. <laughs> If women didn't offer sex, do you think men would still deal with them? Mm. We'll start here. Yes or no? Um, Keep yeah. it a thousand. Sometimes. I don't know. If women didn't offer sex, would men still if deal with them? If women didn't offer sexuality, would men still deal with them? Well, I want to say no, because I think when you first see somebody, I'm not sure. Maybe y'all can answer this, but what do men see? Don't you see appearance, sexuality? Okay, I'm just asking you what you think. Yeah. All right. What about you? Do you think? Yes. Why? Because women were created for beauty in this world. A Go man queen. needs beauty. Like without women, it's just it's not going to work. Like so it you're arguing sexuality miserable. when I ask you a sexuality question? You said do men if it if a man did not have if a woman did not have vagina, did not have sex, yeah. would a man want to talk to her? Is it that yeah. yes. they didn't have a vagina I think a man gonna see a woman and be like, damn, like this is a beautiful like queen. let me get to know a little bit. Let me find out, let me try to talk and pick her brain a little bit at least. But the reason why men find women beautiful is because they want to have sex with them. Because that's what's out here all the time. But if sex was not out here and a man seen a woman without sex, without thinking about sex, he would still be curious and go and talk to her because we need that. Men need that. Or would he talk to without men? Without women, there would be no beauty. Mm-hmm. Like, if it was just <laughs> men. <laughs> like, if it was just men, like... Feathers. I'm just saying. There's no beauty. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that if they weren't attracted to them and they didn't offer sex, would men still deal with them? Yes. You think so? Yes. Interesting. Okay. What about you? No. No. Okay. Why? I don't know. I just think men are in for a few things and that's one of them. Okay. What about you? Yes. You think so? Why? Yeah. Um, I think with like my exes in the past that they're more comfortable um, talking to me about problems or their emotions. I don't know if they talk to their guy friends about that, but that's just my opinion. Um, did you have sex with those exes? Okay. I mean <laughs> I mean I, think, I like sex too. So No, 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 I get but that, yeah. but I I think the conversations that you're talking about that you think they value you for is in fifth place compared to what they're really there for, but that's fine. Yeah. What about you? Do you think men would still deal with women if they didn't provide sex? Yes and no. So we give different perspective to men. Okay. So I have a lot of male friends that are just platonic with me. I've never slept with them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. (laughs) Get it platonic. You are them. Oh, like I make it platonic. I'm not interested in them. So then ultimately. They're still trying to sleep with me. Yeah. So then they're not your friends. But. It's not platonic then. It's not platonic. Okay. So my longest friend. (laughs) I've been friends. I've been friends with my longest friend for 16 to 17 years. Oh, oh, he's waiting. He has a girlfriend. So? And Wait. like, I know he loves me, but I can go to him for he anything. But it's this probably because friendship? he wants to sleep with me. Duh. But. So he's not your friend then. I, here's a better question. <laughs> if he wasn't attracted to you and didn't want to sleep with you, do you think he would sit there and tolerate being in the friend zone this long? Mm. No. There no, that's go. why There's I said yes. That's why I said yes and no. There's your answer. Dang. What about you? <laughs> yes. Why? Because you need something more than sex. You can't just have sex in a relationship. I mean, okay. What? Why would men, when men deal with women then? I mean, then why don't you just deal with men then? If it's for the sex, then you just um, men don't have pussies. She said sex yeah. is sex, though. They and got sex. They got. And don't you deal with females <laughs> just for sex? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Around Chris W. Okay, w. okay. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, what about you? Do you think men would deal with women if it weren't for sex? Oh uh, yes, Why? women have personalities. You feel me? You said, you said, yes. you said women have personalities. Yes. <laughs> Who do you think is more interesting in general, men or women? Women, women, really? yes, yes. Women. So you saying men would just be around each other all day? Oh, yes, day. they would. No. I believe so. Yes. Like, I've right. seen them. I you have to think about it. No. Everything yes. that a guy I, named Boss, they want to be homeboys. No. They want to be with their homeboys. What man? What homeboy gonna be like? All right, let me that's be not gentle. A man, though. That's not today. a real man. Let me be, if you let be, be nurturing me. today. Like men don't have that instilled in them, and a man needs nurturing and like a caring woman, a listening ear. Like men don't. I mean, I okay. don't know. Well, let's let her finish. So you said, you said, because women have, what was that? Again? We have personalities. Not everything has to be about sex. Really? Yes. Like, you could find somebody funny. Like, you, you. What do you think is going to be a more evaluating conversation? Um, a man talking with another man or a man talking with a woman? A man talking with another man. Um, to me, a man talking to a woman. Because we have such different worlds. Like, you don't understand. Like, girls you know? Okay. It's what, a what different world, world from being it, a man it, to a woman. Okay. Explain to me why um, getting a female perspective is so valuable, as you would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get a female perspective, yeah. why is it so valuable? That's what you're arguing. Why right? is it not? It's a female. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're a female, if you're a guy. Who do you think lives a harder life, men or women in 2023? Men. 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 Okay. That's true, men. So if a man <laughs> lives a harder life, what value can he possibly derive from an individual that lives life at a way easier level? You think women have Check it me, easy? This is... You think men have when... a lot more in common. Men so will stop, stop the show. Stop the show. Stop the show. Did I did not ask approximately ten seconds ago who lives a harder life, men or women? And you said men. Yep. Yes. <laughs> it's true. Yes. It, okay. Men so work why? In construction. Men do so all that. So why would a man get more value talking to an individual that lives an easier life than talking to another individual that lives the same difficult life? He was born from a woman. Let her answer. Exactly. Like at the end Maybe of the day, women women give <laughs> birth. That. Like that's way more complicated than anything yeah. else. How did you give him birth help a man? Like you give both. him a family. You give him a home. You give him a foundation. Like something to look up for every day, to wake up, to work, to make money. Like Okay, let me ask this one more time because you guys are clearly reacting with your emotions versus logic yeah. and rationale, which is why. It, it, this is actually this conversation proves my point even further. I asked you, what value that is a man going to get from having a conversation with a woman? And you're like, well, the female perspective is important. And I said, okay, cool. Let me ask you this: Who lives a harder life, men or women? You all agree that men live a harder life than women do. So then I went ahead and said, well, if men live a harder life than women, why would a guy get more benefit talking to a female versus talking to a male who lives the same difficult experience? And you guys re rebutted that with saying. You came from a woman. Take the load See how off. stupid that sounds? I Take think the load you off. came from a woman. I think that <laughs> sometimes men talking to men, it's hard for them because as a society, men have to be hard for us, right? So sometimes when my guy friends have, they've confided in their guy friends, their guy friends are like, it's not that hard. Like you just got to push through it. And they're kind of sugarcoating it for those guys. They don't really push through what's going on in their head. And sometimes when they talk to a female, the female can say, you need to get help. You need to do this. You need to do that. We give a different perspective. Notice you're pushing the responsibility on somebody else. He needs help from you. But you notice what you're doing. You're pushing it to somebody else. So as a man, I'm so straight up. Yo, bro, you're fucking up. Yeah. Fix it. Well, I mean, I did that when I was Who's more to likely to tell the truth about your deficiency, a man or a woman? I've definitely always told the truth, but typically men. Okay. Yeah. So wouldn't it be fair to say that if you have a problem, it's better to get the truth than get a comforting lie? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, who's more likely to tell you the cold hard truth, a man or a woman? A man. There you go. Now, going back to you. So your response was, um, you came from a woman. I don't know how that defeats my argument, but do you have anything else to say? You give birth. Because <laughs> you admitted yourself that, that men live a harder life. So I'm saying, why talk to someone that lives life on easy mode when you can talk to someone else that lives life on hard mode and you guys can bond on that and come up with a solution? Then go ahead, talk to a man. Like, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, it's so many, Ay, like, <laughs> sí, dando una tremenda vuelta. Like, ¿Qué? at the end of the day, like I said, men are curious about women. Like, men are curious about women. Or why do you, you want to be with a man? You, you so when you, you see think, a female, you, okay. Do you think a woman is going to give better dating advice than a man? 
Is that what you're trying to say? Better dating advice? Because you said men are curious about women. Are you saying that a woman might be able to give you better tips to get a girl? Yes. You think so? Yeah. Oh, uh, women can. Bueno, a girl can help a man get a girl, whatever. What do you think is better? Asking a girl how to be attractive or asking another man who's good with women how to get a girl? I guess that's the man. He's the man, no? I mean, what do you think is going to be more productive? Asking a girl or asking a guy? Oh, uh, women. No, women know what no another no. girl likes. You feel me? Like. So you think picking up girls is easy? Do I think thinking? No. Bueno, it depends. These hoes these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. How are we talking about? What type of woman are we talking about? Yeah. Quality or women non-quality. In women it's not in supposed general. to be easy. Yeah, it's not supposed to be easy. So who's better to give advice on getting girls, men or women? <laughs> what a lost soul. <laughs> yeah, every argument you bring up, I'm just like, okay, well, realistically speaking, women aren't that great at that as you think they are. Okay, then go to a man for advice. Like, <laughs> let's see, where would that get you? Like, okay, yeah, a man could be experienced with female, but okay, you have Men a... know how to manipulate a woman into their panties and stuff because that's their goal. They know how to manipulate, you know, you want advice, you go to a, a man. A female can help you get to the girl's heart. A man can help you get to the guy's dick. I mean, that's get right. to the girl's pussy. I meant, I meant. Right. <laughs> really? Let me ask you a question. If I'm going to go fishing, is it better for me to ask the salmon how to get how to catch it or to ask the fisherman how to catch it? Ask the fisherman, glad it. So therefore... The when fisherman know all the tricks. <laughs> So by your own admission, it's better to talk to the fisherman than the fish, correct? Yes. So therefore, it is better to talk to men on how to attract women than women. I guess. How to get them in their bed. Yeah, men know how. Men know all the tricks. Very interesting. They just don't want to admit that admit they're wrong. Yeah. This is great. Wow. Uh, female nature in 4K right now for y'all, man. Women never want to admit when they're taking L's. What you've been taking about, L's the whole time, huh? What about women who think like men? That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, girl, no, a girl I, can I, help you saying. get up. No, so I agree with you, Myron. I do agree with you. I think men to men should be talking about that. But right. what about a girl who, like myself? I've helped a lot of my guy friends get girlfriends because I kind of have their mentality sometimes. Exactly. But I would expect my male friends to go to their male friends first. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you know somebody... what's funny? You call them friends. If you thought like a man, you know that they're not your friend. Well, some some of them. <laughs> like, I what are you saying right some now? Some of them I have slept with. Some of them. <laughs> Just my longest friend I haven't slept with. Then they're not your friends. <laughs> I mean, they got like girls now and everything, and we're still friends. Mm, that's awkward. Okay. I anyway, mean, uh, they definitely I think, don't uh, want to <laughs> I think in general, um, most women don't know what it takes to be attractive to other women. Um, a lot of times a female can only speak for, from her own limited perspective of what she finds attractive. But in general, I mean, and we've done, I mean, we could play a game if you guys really want to see how little women know about being attractive. But, um, but yeah, in general, I've realized that women don't give good dating advice at all. I think the only reason I said that was because I do go after men and women. So, like, I know what I'm looking for in a woman. That's yeah, but that's irrelevant because do you think a woman that's bisexual has the same demands of a woman that she also has of a man? No, absolutely not. So, null and void your experience. Yeah. Because when you're looking at a girl, you're not going to hold her to the same standards that you hold them to a man. And as a matter of fact, the whole reason I even asked that question is for me to come to this conclusion. I'm going to be very honest about this. You guys might not like it, but I'll turn it to you guys. I think women are fairly useless outside of sex. If I'm going to be all the way 1,000. Um, women don't offer much value to you unless they either A, are fucking you and they respect you so that you can put them to work to do something for you and actually add value outside of sex. Or B, they work for you directly and you're paying them. Mm. But other than that, women really don't offer men much value. That's why I tell guys, don't have female friends because they're not going to give you that much value in return. You're better off hanging Masagany. out with uh, guys, having male friends, because you guys experience the same bullshit. You guys experience the same adversity. You're able to identify on that and work together to overcome it versus a female doesn't understand your experience. Most women don't understand the male experience at all, which I'm not knocking you guys for it. But the reality is, is that men live life on hard mode. Women live life on easy mode. I can't go ahead and make an OnlyFans and make 10K selling fee pictures. I don't have that available to me. I can't just be very pretty and get a man to rescue me. It's not happening. It's on my own. And I think as someone who um, needs to be able to grab themselves from the bootstraps, you're better off being around men that are going to tell you how the world really works versus women who are going to say some some bullshit like go see a therapist or whatever. Depression isn't real. You're just a loser. I disagree with that. I My ex-husband was bipolar and he was crazy, crazy. 
Like there was n- even. I didn't talk about bipolar. But that's, that's mental depression. illness. That's that is depression. De- bipolar. It has to. It has depression. Depression is a stage of life. Depression is a stage of life. That was is the biggest reach I've seen in a long time. <laughs> bipolar depression. Two he had. Things. He had depression. Two completely different things. Bipolar is a disorder. It's not depression so, so anyway do you guys have any takes on that about what i said i don't know if you agree disagree whatever i know it doesn't sound the best but i genuinely don't think women offer that much value and i've noticed this with bisexual women if they're bisexual they almost always will maybe have a phase with women but they'll go back to men for long term That's and then even women that are lesbian they typically regress back to men after a period of time being lesbian and i genuinely think the reason for that right this is speculation open to you guys debate if you want I think the reason for that is because men offer way more value. So if you're going to be in a relationship with someone, at least be with someone that's stronger than you, could protect you, could provide for you, provision for you, be more logically sound. You don't have to deal with their bullshit hormones and emotions. They're going to be a lot more rational and stable than another female. That's what I've come to realize. And I genuinely think women don't offer much value unless you're fucking them. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, <laughs> so since you believe that, do you believe that if you had the option, you would live in a world where you just chill with the homies, period. That's it. You would not choose to see one female, not one day, for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, I told you before that women provide sexual access. So, yeah. But if I'm talking about having genuine conversation, um, talking about For things, your life to be successful and yeah. to be great and amazing. Oh, 100% men. Would you completely push out women for your life to be great? Well, here's you the thing. completely omit women. If you, for your life to be great, because women don't question? add no value. Yeah. If a man mm-hmm. actually does want to be extremely successful, he's going to have to go through a period of time where he doesn't focus on females because females are 100% a liability. I agree. The whole mm-hmm. process of courting and dealing with women in itself is extremely time consuming, monetarily consuming, and can fuck with your energy. So as a man, you need to take that and channel it into being productive. Every guy that I know that does nothing but chase women throughout their life ends mm-hmm. up either broke Depressed, sad, whatever it may be, because women are expensive to maintain and deal with. Okay. I would argue so now, because, do you... because and, and I'll say this real quick. The reason yeah. why is because women are designed to extract resources. Yeah. I understand. Men that. are designed to create resources. Women are designed to extract resources. And even at the highest levels, let's say you got a girl that's a millionaire, makes a lot of money. She still wants a man that makes 1.5, 1.2, 1.3. No matter how much security a woman could provide to herself, she still expects a man to bring more to the table than herself. So that proves my point that regardless how much security a woman has, she still wants more. So as the guy, you have to be able to take periods of time off, right, from females to focus on you and build the castle. And then they will come because women don't build. They move in. And I I would argue Hmm. that once again, uh, men and women should be together. I think that's the ultimate um, standpoint. However, I would just say as well in that same sentence that most men would prefer to have women in life. However... It's kind of like it's luxury dating women. It's luxury because mm-hmm. you want to be successful. You want to be that man of status, man, that man of value. But Every if you take too much to time win. dating women at the very beginning, it can mess you up. So here's a very good point there. Matter of fact, we, absolutely. Tell, we tell guys don't live with a girl. Yeah. Dealing with yeah, women of the world. Absolutely. But you used to be or you used to want to be a pastor because I seen a little clip. So you know about a Me? woman of God, right? <laughs> yeah, so you know about women of God. Yeah, Mar. I think that's uh so so women of God. <laughs> uh, Come on, Come on, I seen it on this show. So you know So you know go Mara. So you know fresh that wanted to be the pastor. Okay, fresh. <laughs> So, first, you know, and y'all don't know what y'all want. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And you know that there's a different type of woman apart from the woman of the world. Yes. yes. Okay, then. So, you know, that woman, she got everything you need and you have access to her. You can get her if you want to. And you're going to be a successful man and have plus things you can't With even her. think about. You know that. But even that woman requires a man to be a man of value. And you would be perfect for, for her. Yeah, yeah, you but, know that. Okay, but to find a woman nowadays is almost impossible. It, it, you can do it, but it's gonna take time. She missed the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're talking about like, not a woman is... of the world now. Oh, you know what man. I'm talking about? Not a woman of the world. Yeah, but but even then though, you still need the, the qualities and, and the standards that she, she's gonna want a, a man of, of certain status to be that man of God for her still. So, I mean, either way, you still got to provide. Exactly. But you have access to her, but you have to build yourself up, right? To be ready for her. Exactly. Exactly. So both of y'all going to come like this. But, but, but okay. hold on. He's saying before you even get there, how do you become that man of status? You, have to you work, work on it. yourself, right? Without and women. Then you, Without women in your 
you know, psych. Right. Now, if every woman on the earth was a woman of God, right? I mean, <laughs> this would be a different type of conversation, but, but you would have to work on yourself apart from the women of the world to get that woman of God that got everything that you could ever imagine. Like you said. But no, but you need that woman of God. You need that woman. The no, women well, of the earth are distractions. Well, all right, right. stop the show. You don't right? This is what I mean when I say women live life on easy mode. See, yeah. what you're talking about is the finish line. Yeah. We're talking about preparing for the race in the first place. Mm-hmm. You're talking about the finish line. The girl's going to be there waiting for the winner. What I'm saying is I'm preparing the guy to run the race in the fucking first place. You must build yourself up to even be able to enter the race to cross the finish line and have the woman pick you. But women don't understand this because women are not made. Men are. Women are born with value. Men must create their value. Women get their value as soon as they turn 18. They could go in and find a guy that's multi-millionaire successful. We don't get that privilege. We have to actually run the race, and then whoever's there at the end can pick the winner from the finish line. So you're assuming attraction. I'm telling you the attraction doesn't even come into play unless I cross the finish line. You don't understand what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about a relationship in the spirit, not the flesh people of the of the world, you don't want no women while you're building yourself up because those women of the world are distractions, like he was saying, distractions. Yeah. Right, but while you're building yourself up, the Lord can give you your woman while you're building yourself up. Yes, he can, but it doesn't always happen that way. It doesn't always happen that so, way, but you so, don't know your story until so you live. Generally, look, look, look. Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? Exactly. No, hold no. on, hold on. But this is the difference between men and women. Yeah. Women operate in Looney Tune world where it's possible. We don't operate on that. We operate on probabilities. You don't believe Not, it ain't going to happen for look, you. Look, 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 man. See, <laughs> only women get this privilege of believe, saying crazy believe, shit. Believe, believe. You believe you have access come, to it. If you don't, I, come, you don't have I am access. in the spirit world, all this other shit. Look, I don't mm. know what spirit world you're in, but I live on planet Earth. And in planet Earth, I go off of probabilities and not possibilities just because something is possible doesn't mean it's probable so for me to increase the probability of success i need to put myself in a position to increase those probabilities women get to go ahead and say oh well it's possible and the man's out there for me all this other shit men, men don't get to live in this fairy tale world we have to go make it happen not hope for it to happen i understand and, and, and your also, point of view and i also, understand just that. it's, it's not this. even a point of view it's the masculine burden of performance that women are not held to so therefore you're unaware of and this is why I say, no offense, mm. this conversation here, we've been talking past each other. Why? Because you don't understand the masculine experience. And a lot of girls don't understand it. So what the hell do I look like talking to women that live in spirit worlds? I'm better off talking to a guy who's on planet Earth that understands my struggles, understands the burden of performance, understands that we need to get out there and fucking get it. And we can't I rely on a spirit world. You don't believe or whatever women exist right. like that? Yeah. Go yeah. click up look, with look, a man look, that's look, of the look, world look, and y'all gonna grind no, together. No, exactly. No, I get no, it. No, you you got women that look, actually look, want you guys have said some them. nonsensical things during this podcast. For example, we asked you your relationship status. You said, in spirit, I'm X, Y, Z. You ever hear men speak like that? Because you don't believe. Men no, no, don't no, no, really no, no, believe. No. Some no, men believe. Wait, I'm asking you. Do you ever hear men listen? Yes, I do. Talk, speaking like that and or talking about their horoscopes yes, or stars and rocks and all sorts of shit? Yes, I do. I've successful heard. men? Yes, I do. Successful men? They successful, yeah. No, they successful. That's a no. The yes, they are. No. It doesn't the matter. Is no. The answer to that is no, and I'm going to tell you why. All millionaire men typically have very similar characteristic traits. And one of the biggest ones, whatever, that's that's your opinion. <laughs> but the one of the biggest ones is understanding that they have to go out there and get it and make it happen. Nothing in the spirits, all this other bullshit, reading tarot cards. Women believe in that bullshit because you guys have the privilege of being in a looney tool world. To looney tool I world. have to grind. I men, don't got nobody giving no man giving me money. Like I have man. to grind. Look, I have to what, do it myself. What I'm same saying, way. That's fine. That's, same that's, way. That's, that's fine. But the burn performance is not the same on me as it is on you. You can still get saved by a guy. I can't. So that's why I'm telling it hasn't you. Hasn't happened yet. If I ask the man, no, it don't happen. Men don't say. Stop interrupting. If I ask the man, what's your relationship status? Nine out of ten times, they would never say some crazy shit like "in spirit, I'm blah blah blah." But women say crazy stuff like this all the time, and no one says anything because women that's are allowed beauty. to be in a Looney Tune world in general. Being honest here, that's the beauty of women. Because we we have the beauty, we can access the Yo, spirit. No, we're intuitive. You have the beauty, so you men can be are retarded. logical. Men are logical. Women no, no, no. are intuitive. Look, look, look. It's, intuition is a thing for no, a reason. No, men women have that. can say stupid shit so because men want men, to have sex with them. That's why. If it was only men. <laughs> There yo, would be no intuition, and I don't even know what kind of world, world that would be. Bro. Yeah, bro. Bro. like yo, you saying that, but you, you wanted to be his pastor, like you know what I'm talking bro, about. You skipping. agree no, no. that the Lord can no. prepare a woman the same no, no, way no, you would be preparing but... me. I'm a woman, and I'm preparing for my husband. I'm in the flesh, but at the same yo. time, I'm not having but sex. See, I'm praying every preach. day for my husband see, that I don't preach, even have seen him yet. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're missing the whole point here, though. Amen. So, so you a man that don't have God? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. God damn it. Okay. So, so I get what you're saying. I don't understand what I'm saying, but it's okay. Whoever. No, we understand. That's why we're understand. able to no. refute your you points and argue. No, no, no. I understand. You said Looney Tunes. You don't understand it. I understand uh, completely. Anyone well, that says in spirits, I'm uh, with married to married to whatever, and then I yeah. like you said some nonsensical stuff earlier. Like if a dude said that, we would laugh at him and be like, yeah. "You're fucking retarded, nigga." What are you talking about? Logical, naturally. Okay, so logically sound means I need to be naturally. on planet Earth and understand how things work. Naturally, women are intuitive for a reason. For a reason. Okay. <laughs> naturally. I'm just gonna be very brutally honest about this. Women say stupid shit all the time because men rarely check them on it and they want to fuck them. That's why women get away with saying, "My crystals tell me this." See, we're talking about see crystals oh, are she, different. She we're not, right? yeah. Listen, we're you're talking about, about spirit. Them? And spirit don't have nothing to do so. with crystals. You know that. Crystals don't have no part in, in spirit. You know that. I'm, so you okay. saying that you're talking about something you don't know. Chat, put a one if you stay. All I'm saying family. is that yes, you can find a woman of God that can help you along your path. Absolutely. However, it is not a requirement because in the Bible it says as well, you can choose to be married or not. It's not like you have to be married or have to find a woman. It can happen. It can not happen. I'm just saying we're here as a plus. But I'm, basically. Saying, I'm just saying as a man, though, from a holistic standpoint, you want to be good in fitness, mindset, money, status. And by default, you're going to find a woman of value that way as well. But just wishing and hoping God's going to give it to you. I mean, that's good and all, but without works. What's the right. faith? You yeah. have to do the work. Like me, like I said, no, I've been but, fasting but, 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 and But that's praying. the point. You went from, from zero to hundred. We're going from zero, five, 10, 15, all the way to hundred as a man. It takes time. It takes steps. Patience. Patience is key. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm kidding. I mean, you can't stretch your patience unless you I mean, want to, like, that woman here, You know, when I brought you to the podcast, I didn't really look at your bio. I saw your face. All right, she's all right. Eh. You know what I'm saying? But man, hit me up all the time. Hey, Chris, can I come on to the podcast? I'm like, what do you do? What's going on with you? So I have to really vet the man, vet the guys. And I never bring guys on fresh to that shit. You know, fresh markets for the uh, for the guys, more or less. Pause. And for girls, I'm like, yo, you look hot. Let me see your tits. All right, cool. And I'm still oh sexy, and okay. I'm a woman of God. I'm sexy. I'm here for a reason. I mean, all right. <laughs> I'm well. sexy. <laughs> well, long story short, faith without works is dead. Okay, so more chats here, without bro. Without works, and I work. That we talk about working. If you're a man, you want to be successful, right? And you want that perfect woman, you can get that perfect woman, but you got to work for it. That means what? You got to fast every day. Little well, stuff. Well, well, I'll tell you this, though. You can get a woman. You can get that, but, but if you don't no, believe. No, but for it to be perfect, just form to your image and to your likeness. So, for example, she can come to you. We still gotta mold her to be that woman for you. So no one's perfect. Um, all right. Irs go. says, uh, "Ladies, what's the your biggest deal breaker in a relationship?" Man, All right. 